Hello everybody, we are Team 4 and we will be presenting on a technical review and assessment on General Motors. Our team members are Andrew Bernava, Ann Blanchard, Roger Bustamante, and myself, Jennifer Bustillos. In this presentation, we will analyze the company's current state in the automotive world, examine the strategies General Motors employ to remain an innovative company, discuss its major accomplishments by product, success, developments over the years in its innovation. General Motors is one of the largest multinational corporations that engages in the design, manufacturing, and sales of cars, trucks, and automobile parts worldwide. Headquartered in Detroit, Michigan, it currently has 215,000 employees with Mary Barra as their CEO. General Motors' latest mission is to earn customers for life by inspiring passion and loyalty to continuous improvement in its technologies and innovation. To achieve its vision, General Motors set forth three major strategic plans. First is to grow their brands. In 2015, Chevrolet has been the most successful brand with a record of 4.4 million deliveries. It nearly gained one point in retail market in the last two years, making it the fastest, fastest growing brand. For the September of 1908, uh, GM was originally a holding company owned by William C. Durant. In 1909, he uh, acquired Oldsmobile, Cadillac, and a few other automobile companies. And unfortunately, the overwhelming debt taken on by all these acquisitions, Durant lost control of GM in 1909 as well. In 1911, he started the Chevrolet Motor Car Company, and through it, he secretly bought a controlling stock in GM and took back control of it in 1916. Uh, he took advantage of this opportunity and merged GM with Chevrolet and brought in the General Motors Company of Canada uh, as an ally in 1918, where he ultimately lost control entirely of GM due to the collapse of the new vehicle market. Alfred Sloan, then GM of United Motors, was picked to take charge of the corporation and led it to its post-war global dominance. For over 100 years, GM has been a pioneer in the automotive research and development industry. Uh, it began originally in 1908 as a continuation of the research and development being done by the individual companies acquired by GM. Uh, it wasn't until the creation of the United Motors Corporation in 1916 that GM's research and development really took off. Uh, United Motors, under the leadership of Alfred Sloan, acquired Delco, uh, the Dayton Engineering Laboratories Company owned by Charles Kettering. Uh, that's where Sloan and Kettering began their original relationship, and Kettering was eventually put into the put in charge of the General Motors Research Corporation in 1918. Um, most of GM's research can be attributed to Kettering's in involvement up until the 1950s and uh, the war Second World War. Uh, today, GM's research and development is how it has its headquarters in Warren, Michigan, where there's a large network of laboratories, uh, science offices, and collaborative relationships around the globe. I will be talking a little bit about some of the current designs as well as the features that GM has implemented in their current vehicles. Uh, in their compact line vehicles, they have implemented an approximate number of 10 airbags, um, as well as an electronic uh, stability control, otherwise known as stability track. Um, responsible to their mechanical performance are a 1.4 liter turbo engine and a 2.4 liter um, Ecotech engine. Both of them. Um, having a four-cylinder direct injection uh, configuration, which allows them to have an improvement by 11% in their horsepower and a 20% in the torque provided. And this is in comparison to their competitors. Reduced inertial pressures in the train valve is also observed, and this is, um, this is due to the, over, the double overhead uh, cams provided. Um, a variable flow oiling system is also implemented which allows the oil supply to match that of the engine load. In their mid-size to large cars, um, GM implements a similar safety control system as that found in compact cars while also introducing its lane keeping assistance. Uh, responsible for their mechanical performance is the implementation of the front wheel drive configuration, which allows for a better traction as well as a fuel, maximizing its fuel efficiency. And this is due to the weight of the engine and transmission being transferred to the front wheels or the driven wheels in this case. Um, the introduction of engines of a 2.5 liter and 1.5 liter engine in the Ecotech family, they present different from its compact cars, the variable valve timing, which controls the flow of the intake and the exhaust gases in the combustion chamber. Additionally, GM presents engines that allow for the use of alternative fuels. 
such as a spark ignition direct injection, which operates with an engine that is supplied with a direct injection of a fuel spray plume into the cylinders, creating a fuel-air mixture, which later will be ignited as the car is started. Um, also, flex fuel technology, which implements engines that allow for the use of biofuels, such as E85, which is a gasoline ethanol blend, um, which contains, has a composition of 51 to 85% ethanol and the rest to be gasoline. Um, another highly used biofuel is B20, which is a petroleum biodiesel fuel mixture, which is uh, composed of 80% petroleum and 20% of biodiesel. This could come, these biodiesels could come from any agricultural product such as corn and soy. In addition to this, uh, General Motors also presents electric vehicles, a fully electric vehicle which could run for 200 miles under a 240 voltage battery. Some of the future developments that General Motors presents in the industry, in the automobilistic industry, are autonomous vehicles um, with the capabilities of running under cruise automation control equipped with sensors and multiple cameras as well. Um, the implementation of fuel cell propulsion systems where hydrogen is where the chem where in the form of hydrogen fuel cells where the chemical energy stored in the form of hydrogen is later converted into electricity. So the proposal a proposal for the new concepts. First of all, GM, the, like we said, they have 12 car companies under their name. So they have a lot of cars and some of them which are not even making good, uh, they're selling good. So a proposal uh, we have is they could make less car models that are, that, like, are not selling good and take the ones that are doing well and like, evolve them and make them better. So, and uh, regain market share with the best selling cars rather than making new models from cars that are not doing so good, and that's what I explained. And uh, make parts from different car companies under GM compatible with each other. So, the thing is, like, each car company under GM, they, have the, they make their own parts. So this, of course, it costs more time and more money. So what they could do is make parts from different car companies under GM compatible with each other. So it's cheaper for them and less time, of course. To conclude our presentation, uh, GM will look towards enhancing their technology and performance in their future cars. And second, due to uh, their bankruptcy, uh, they're going to uh, strive into making the better changes for economic and leadership in the automobile industry. And their, uh, third, they're going to make cars which are better for the ecosystem. Uh, Less, depending less on uh, fuel. And finally, uh, and this is new, it's a fuel cell propulsion system. Uh, autonomous vehicles and implementing new manufacturing techniques are steps towards an industry, industry of innovation. Thank you very much.